Are you looking for a simple and intuitive way to edit your videos on a phone to then publish them on Pinterest and any other social media platforms? Then this video is exactly what you were looking for. You will get a click-by-click -click tutorial for a great video editing app for your phone. Hi, I'm Anastasia of AnastasiaBlogger.com and on this channel I share Pinterest marketing and online business tips. And if that's what you want to learn about, then you know all the buttons, right? Subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified when my new videos go live. Now let's dive into the tutorial. I've partnered with Filmr, it's a video editing app and they have a free version so you can try it without any commitment. I will give you a link to this app in the description below this video. So this app has an extremely intuitive interface, clean vertical design to edit and play around with your videos. But let me show you how it works so you don't have to just trust me, you can see it with your own eyes. So here we have the Film mobile app and I'm using it on iOS. This app has more than 150 professional features and professional tools. So to start the project we can click on camera over here or camera roll. In camera roll I can choose several videos that I already have saved for this project. I'm just going to, to select them. One, two, three. I'm click import. And now we have the timeline for our video. And as you can see, it's a vertical timeline and it's very intuitive. For example, if I want to make this video shorter, I can just drag on the left side and on the right side. So this video became much shorter and it's super intuitive. And one thing I want to show you, if you click on the three dots, it will show you more settings. And one of the settings is really interesting is speed. So if you click play, this was a slow motion video that I'm using for this um, video. I want to make it faster. So to do this, I'll just drag it to the right. So I'll make it twice faster. And when I'm happy, I click on the right bottoms of the screen. There is this green checkbox to save. Now it plays with a normal speed. Now we have more control of the first video. And if you want to select any video on the timeline, you can just, just click basically on each one of them. Let's go to the first one. And now you see that this first video is just four seconds long. And you can add transitions between the videos. So you see they have lots of options for transitions. And let's choose this one. Well, maybe the slide one is, would be nice. Okay, let's see how it, how it works. Let's play this again. Pay attention to the transition. Okay, I think it's pretty cool. You can always choose other options. You can also check the duration of the transition. You can choose another type of transition. So instead of moving it from right to left, you can also move the slide from top to bottom. Now if we go to the second video, for this one first we'll do the same thing, we will increase the speed, I will select twice faster, save it. The third video I'm gonna save the same setting for it so I don't forget it later. We'll make it twice faster and save it in the right bottom corner. Now I will adjust uh, the second and the third video to make it shorter as well. Okay, so I also need to add transitions between the second and the third videos. So I will try these waves. Another cool thing that we can do is if we click here on the three dots, you see here we have lots of effects, filters, transitions. If we try filters, what happens is basically it creates a color style that you can apply to all of your video. Sunset, sunshine, let's try, let's say I like the sunshine. So instead, instead of applying one by one to each video clip, if I want to use it for all of the videos, I'll just click here, apply to all clips, and it automatically apply to all the three videos in my timeline. So I can go back in the left top corner, you've seen how to do it. If I play, you can see that this new color was applied and it's applied to the second video as well. Uh, I want to show you now effects. 
and this feature actually doesn't fit really well for the purpose of this video because these are just some effects like some glitter on the video, the sparkly effect. Uh, maybe you could use it if you want to call more attention to your video, but I will click remove this effect. I don't want to keep it on this video. If you go again to the dots, uh, another cool feature is defocus. So if I click there, I will select radial and now I can just uh, focus on this area of, of the video on the bowl and I want to move it to 100%. If I use two fingers, I can increase the area, drag it to make it, make it bigger, focus it on the bowl itself. So all the focus of this video clip will be on the bowl. When I'm happy, I'm just saving in the bottom right corner. And this way, if you watch this video, the focus will be only on the part of the video where it has the bowl. They also have a royalty-free music library. So if you click here on music, add music, and you see lots of options. Let's click on happy. Let's select something that we like. It's really quick. Import a song. And now the song, you can, you can trim it. You, if you want to add multiple tracks to the video, you can do that as well. So you can do many things. And let's go back to video. So you know that we are creating this for Pinterest. So I need to add text. That's always helpful to get traffic from Pinterest. So we're going to add some text overlay. So I'm going to say best vegan recipes. Now I will press here on this A button to make uh, the text bolder because you see you have lots of fonts options. It's a huge collection actually you can select from. So you can select any of the fonts and it will apply the style to all the duration of the video. So I want to try to, to select something that matches the, the type of the video that I'm creating and also Pinterest platform itself. It has to be something that grabs your attention. Pretty bold. Let's try this one. Then you go here to this A icon in the left bottom corner and it helps you with resizing. You just drag it to the left or to the right and it makes it automatically bigger. You can also change the colors if you click on this icon. So we can test different colors. Then if you want to save it, don't forget to click on this. I recommend you, if you're making it for Pinterest, to place it in the top part of the pin. And if you want to apply this text to the entire duration of the video, you just drag it this way to the entire timeline. So here how it looks. It looks like this white is a little lost on some of the clips. Let's see. I think maybe I will use a different color because the white was getting lost on the background. I will choose yellow. And maybe I will choose a different font that will look even bolder than that one. And now you can add multiple texts if you want to your video clip. So if you click here to add another text, I could add my brand name. I'll just click, well, just my, my brand name.com. And now I will use a different font for this. Let's choose another font, something that's not attracting too much attention because it's not the main focus of the video. Let's try this color and I want to place it to the bottom part of the video. I'm pinching this screen with two fingers to make it smaller and then I drag it down. Now I have this brand name and it's applied to the entire video duration. And another thing you can do, if you want to add some Giphy stickers to the video, you can click on over. It's in the almost in the top right corner and then click sticker in the bottom of the screen and the stickers you can select from this collection of Giphy. I will search for food, for example. So what should we choose here? I like this one, eat healthy. So if I pinch with my two fingers, I can make it bigger or I can drag it and place anywhere I want. And I can even say that I don't want it to be applied to the entire video. I just want to use it just on the last video clip. 
and it looks like these guys are walking on the bowl. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So let, that's how it looks uh, when we play the video. I think it's a pretty cool feature. And by the way, another cool thing that they have, if you want to add another video, but let's say you want to record your, your, your own face and at the same time you're cooking, you're creating this recipe. So you can use the front facing camera and the back camera by clicking here and they can click on the right icon over here and it will be recording both cameras simultaneously. But now when you're ready, after all of this, you can click on the right top corner to export. Or if you want to change the format, click here and you can select another format. For Instagram, it could be square, but you'll need to make a little more adjustments when you're changing the format this way. But we don't need that for, for our video on Pinterest. We'll go back to the vertical format. And now you click on this top right corner to export the file. And as you can see, you can export to different formats, to different social media like Instagram, Instagram Stories or Facebook or even YouTube. But unfortunately, right now we don't have an option to upload it directly to Pinterest. So we need to click on share and on this green button, we select uh, this format for Pinterest. I recommend 1080 pixels and 24 frames because it makes your videos file smaller. And then if you're happy with everything, click export. It will start with the export and it will take, well, just a couple of seconds. So it's pretty, pretty quick. Now we have the file. I just click OK. Let's just watch the video. just need to go to our Pinterest profile and upload this video to Pinterest and let's see how it works. So I open on my device the Pinterest, click plus to create a pin. We'll select the pin that is on my device already, saved. Then we'll click, we can drag in, you see in the bottom I'm dragging to select something as a cover. Click next, I'll give it a title. Title is very important for SEO purposes. And if you want to learn about SEO, I have lots of videos. I will uh, link some of them in the top right corner and in the description of this video. And then the description of the pin. You also want for video pins, always select some tags related to your video. So let's select some of these. And now you need to se select a board that is the most relevant to this pin. Um, I don't have on this profile, so I'll create vegan recipes board. Click create. And now it's saved to this board called Vegan Recipes. Um, it says that it will be reviewed. Usually it doesn't take much time to get reviewed. And that's it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then give me a like. I really, really appreciate any support for this channel. Even if it's just a like or a comment, believe me, it can make a difference. And before you close this window, check out a few other videos on my channel that are perfectly complementary to what I shared with you today. You can check them out here and there. And I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you.